Hi there, and welcome to a short video just discussing a few variations on viral structure. So these are what are called complex viruses. So one uh, group of these viruses are the pox viruses, and smallpox would be in that group. And they still have the nucleic acid in the middle. But then they're covered just by several layers of either proteins or lipoproteins various different types of structures kind of coating around the cell. And I'll use blue here to kind of just remind you these are mostly protein based. So it still has sort of that traditional capsid type structure uh, around there, but it's not in the shapes that we're used to seeing. So the clay acid is in the middle, and then you're just going to have various layers. So not necessarily, don't need to know all the layers, just want you to know that there's other viral types out there. The other major type that I would like you to know in a little bit more detail are the bacteriophages. And those kind of start off looking fairly familiar with that icosahedral capsid head. And then the nucleic acid and sign. But then it's got these additional protein structures around the base of it. So it has uh, what's called a collar and then a sheath. And I'll label these here in just a second. Um, these strange kind of spacey looking tail fibers here, as well as some pins. And I'm going to actually use different color here for a little better contrast. These tail pins at the base. So let me label those. So there's the collar the sheath, the tail fibers, kind of the legs, and then finally the tail pins. So the top part really is what we're used to with the capsule with the nucleic acid inside. With uh, bacteriophages, they're binding into a host that although it's very small, they're specific to bacteria and I'm, this is not to scale here, they are not able to come completely over the cell membrane because actually the size difference is pretty close and there's not a lot of the mechanisms there like endo and exocytosis where they could kind of uh, commandeer those and come over. So what they need to do for, for adsorption and penetration is they actually bind to the host cell surface and then ultimately they're going to use this sheath and it's kind of like a spring or I think of it as like a syringe, kind of contracts after there's attachment or adsorption and it's going to inject that nucleic acid over the, over the uh, cell wall. So that's actually going to allow the bacterial cell, um, you know, that's enough information for that virus to take over the bacterial cell. So the, uh, that just that nucleic acid information will be enough then to make more copies. The problem with this, or maybe is a problem, is that in order to get out, because there isn't an easy mechanism to get in or out, you have to come out through lysis. So I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video. So that's all I have for the two types of complex viruses. I want you to know some other types are out there. The bacteriophage structure I label because it's a little bit more uh, important in terms of thinking about uh, bacteriophage viral multiplication. I thank you very much. This is Corey Andres at CNM using CNN.